Wait, are you Japanese? I am human. <laughs> I'm the human race. Well, that's what I think I am. Maybe I'm not human. Who knows? Hi, human. <laughs> oh, like, um, so when I played in America, obviously, like, I had to get, like, a like a visa to play and on the visa it says i'm a internationally recognized alien how funny is that so on my visa it actually says i'm an internationally recognized alien by america yay So I guess to to the rest of the world, I'm a certified alien. And it's kind of funny because it's actually on the official document. I didn't know, like, you, like, write that. <laughs> it's like, um, I, it's like some, uh, like, oh, what made me, like, really, like, always interested was like some deals like um it says like um like the world uh, i can't know how to explain it like some like in music like like the the copyright or whatever is like usually it says world but apparently some contract it says the universe like so like if like i guess they're trying to cover their tracks if mars played one of their tracks they want to collect royalties but it's kind of funny like they're covering universe like you know just in case the aliens string the track we're definitely going to be collecting royalties because you know they can't listen to music for free even if you're an alien that's like so <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, how much it costs to cover the whole universe, or it's it'll be like infinite for real. <laughs> um. Yeah, maybe like we should start making music to sell to aliens. Oh my god, there'll be like an alien SoundCloud rapper <laughs> from Neptune. Um, if I can do a backflip, I'll be showing it off every time. Um, yeah, my fans are the coolest. Um, <laughs> Lil Grey, oh my god. <laughs> Um, do you plan to make more songs with hun hundred gets? <laughs> um, I don't know what my plan is. We'll see. What's everyone's plan? Um, oh my, yeah, I would love to do a Latin America tour. Mm. Going to class. Um, my first memory, burning my hand. 
when I was five on a hot plate. Like, I literally put my hand on a hot plate because I'm too young, in it. I don't know if it, it's too hot. I just thought it was, like, a thing, surface to put my hand on it. I remember, like, getting ice on my hand and stuff. What's everyone's first memory? I feel like a lot of people's first memory is, like, not a happy memory. <laughs> I guess that's, like, what, get, what gets burnt on in your head. So yeah, my first memory is me burning my hand at a restaurant on a hot plate. Um, favorite movie, um, Princess Mononoke, and it's it's my favorite movie, not my favorite anime. It's my favorite movie. Um. My plushie. Which one? One of my first memories me falling into a pile of mud. See, it's all like, like, not nice memories. It's crazy because I spoke to people and some people actually remember, like, coming out the womb. Like, it's so weird. Like, I remember I spoke to a 10 year old years ago and he told me he remembers being born and i'm like that's crazy like who remembers that like i remember him saying like he felt like he asked he had to get out of there like he had this feeling like it's time <laughs> um have you ever thought of doing audio i would love to do audio books I would love to voice a character and stuff. Yeah, I would love to do all that. No one remembers being born. Well, apparently some people do. Parag doesn't remember anything from last night. <laughs> Um, you ever get told something you did as a kid? Yeah, all the time. Um, photographic memory. Is that, is that a real thing? I don't know, I'm so forgetful, so I can't imagine. Um... Yeah, any video games. Well, right now I'm record. Uh, I'm recording. I am downloading Lego Loco, so can't wait. Hopefully, it'll work, and I can start my city with a proper train system. Um, have you seen Hunter Hunter? Of course, Hunter Hunter is. The only anime I've been following since when I was really, really, like, I don't know how old I, how old I was, like 10? I don't know, really young. Um, My favorite character is um, Kirua. And oh, and um, what's the head of the spider clan? Kuroro, yeah. Kuroro and Kirua. Did you ever ha uh, did you ever go to college for music? That's hilarious cuz when I was in high school, like A levels for UK, um I took music on my first year at high school and after like first year like so after the so that year I got a D in music and um I dropped that subject because I was like maybe music's not for me and I gave up and life has given me this <laughs> so yeah um 
so it's kind of funny like I really 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 didn't think like I was gonna be doing music after getting a, a D because it's not it's like you can you can pick four subjects to study in high school music was one and you can like whittle it down to three on your second year and I dropped music um and also I can't read music like yeah Maybe music's not for me. <laughs> but I mean, like, I guess, like, the stuff we were doing wasn't, like, stuff I would be using now anyways. Like, well, maybe, no. That's really wrong to say. Like, music theory and stuff's really helpful. Like, I'm, like, sometimes when I'm mus making music, I don't know much about music, so I feel like I'm, like, like, just going with the flow. Like, sometimes I wish I did study music. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, and I remember... Um, even when I was in the brass band playing the saxophone I would like make up my parts sometimes actually maybe that actually helped because like um because I couldn't read music I used to make up lines that would go with the whole piece but like not exactly how it is written because I'm just like winging it so maybe like that helped me like come up with melodies or whatever. Mm. I never actually played The Sims. But I know about I know about The Sims. Um Yeah, maybe I feel like because I have a really strong ear, so I've been like relying on my ear instead of reading music. Like I'm really good at like hearing a melody and picking it up, because I guess that's what happens when you can't read music. You gotta like figure it out. So figure it out. So. I can actually, I, I can read notes. It means like some people's brains are just not like, I'm just giving excuses I should learn. Yeah, I was trying to, yeah, made out of metal. Um, could still remember the time you accidentally dropped your ring while performing in Singapore. Oh yeah, and I feel like I think, I don't know, I think I remember, like, you guys, like, picked up the ring for me. Um. Must be so weird seeing a question that you can't answer. <laughs> um. Yeah, I remember that in Maryland. Of course, I I remember. Everyone tried to break the floor by jumping to trampoline. I remember like doing shows like I can't remember uh, um it was one of the college shows in America and we were playing on the second floor or the green room was like in the basement or something like the green room was like right under the 
the stage, like, no, right under where people, like, watch, like, and, um, like, the support act filmed it for me, but it was really scary, so, like, like, and trampoline, everybody jumps in unison, right, like, when I say jump, jump, and stuff, and trampoline, and then the, the, the floor was bouncing, and then from the green room, you can see the floor, like, imagine the ceiling, like, bouncing up and down, apparently, like, yeah, they had to, like, run away, because they thought, like, the floor's gonna cave in, um, I think it's on the KKV Life blog, um, that was really, yeah, that was really cool, <laughs> imagine we did break the floor, and then you all just fell to the basement, <laughs> Um, and also, my other favourite one is, like, we turned up to play a show. I think it was the same venue, actually, or somewhere. We turned up to play a show. Um, and then, obviously, like, just list... I think the security guys thought we were, like, this calm, chill, pop, wholesome band. So they didn't have much security at all. And then as soon as the show started, people went mad and started to push the, like, the, like, the, like, they were about to, like, break the fence. And the security guys had to, like, the, sec the one security guy that was, like, at the front, like, he wasn't even, like, protecting the stage because he thought nothing's gonna happen because we're, like, wholesome and stuff. And then, and then he had to like walkie talkie all the people working that night to hold the fence the whole time I was playing the show because people kept on like, I don't know, pushing and breaking it and mushing and um, it was like, yeah, the pit was fire and the security guys were panicking because they weren't prepared and it was like... Um, yeah, so yeah, they didn't know we were like this crazy ass punk rock band, so yeah. My favorite rapper. My favorite rapper right now. <laughs> um. Nearly got stomped out of the Houston shop. Skin. Um. Have you guys been doing some music lately? No, I've been just, I've been just, um, oh no, I was trying to say a joke, but I forgot it. <laughs> yeah, 20,000 <laughs> 20, pencil in the bin. Uh. 
Sanrio. Hmm. 